A very good evening to you on this beautiful Sunday night. I am so excited to um, play or play again <laughs> and again and again and again with these purple beads. They are just the most amazing shapes. I have got 15 different shapes in front of me. And you know what? Without any further ado, I'm going to take you right down on the mat and then we can um have a look what we have here so last week we played around um a little bit sort of kind of like making a bracelet i wasn't um quite happy with it so we kind of like abandoned it i quite like the look of this one so might be might be coming something with that one along and then we ventured in to try to do a pendant and we kind of like went backwards and forwards, put seed beads and bits of pieces in between. Um, and then we ended up with this one. We we wanted to add one of, where are those beads gone? We were going to add in between, there they are, right at the top. We're going to add those in there and we just kind of like sort of waiting and seeing how or what thread path we can work out. But while I was sitting here and kind of like getting ready i was just like putting things on my mat and like we could do so many different beautiful shapes with this one that is it's just really incredible all the different things what we what we can do i probably could like if i wanted to to put, add another one in there so i could have um kind of like a five petal um leaf or a flower i mean pet little pendant we could do so many different things what we need to work out what what thread path we're gonna go with and how is it all gonna come together i'm not sure if i want to add the semi speed or i might even get the semi speed out from the middle there and add a cross bead in there but this is the thing like you look at the beads and like you look at it another another day with a fresh pair of eyes and it shows you different things what you can do or you can want to do with it i'm going to zoom in just in a sec and i'm going to show you better so i think that would be a quite a nice pattern as well but um let me just bring these to the side and actually as i'm moving they're gonna move as well hopefully they stay together yes they did um be working with purple beads so there is a pack on totally beads website which we and this is not just for september this is for september and october because we're going to be working with purple beads all the way up until the end of november every sunday night we're going to do a couple of hours so i'm going to continue with the sky we we used the sky last week and i was going to change the earth but um, I'm not quite sure why I'm done with the chaos beads and they disappeared. So I'm going to continue with the sky um, this time. So shall, do you want me to go through all the different shapes quickly again? Or are you happy just to be get started? Let me just quickly come and say hello to you. Hi Kim, hi Angela, Lucy's here, Gwen, Julie, Mina, Rachel... What you're saying? I got my kid that day. It's a lovely kid. Hi Bridget. Leslie, Michelle is here, Rachel, Lucy popped the link in there. So there is a creation station pack on Total Beads website, but you might have some at home as well that you get to follow along. Sharon is saying, good evening, creative bead and ears. Bead and ears. I love that. Um, I love that um, expression, bead in ears. Right, okay, so do you want me, give me a yes, if you want me to go through in the, again, like what shape is what and talk you through it, or shall we just jumping in and starting to make a pendant or bracelets or what, whatever really you desire straight away. I'm, I was just sort of playing and putting beads on my mat and see how, they are kind of which one can linked up with what one and how they are sitting how they are sitting all together so right it looks like you're all all right no need to review maybe just identify as you go along um okay if you just jump in cool okay so um because i was putting this little pattern out and i'm going to Bring this pattern in. I'm probably gonna have to straighten it up again. I'm gonna push this out of the way a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in and show you what I was 
thinking so let's, let's just pull it in right in front of me so i was thinking using this arcos and the minus fits quite nicely right inside the arcos bead so i'm thinking to do sometimes less is more to do like a, a little pendant where we will we'll go back to the other one as well what we started last week <laughs> i just seen this on my mat I think we need something in the middle. So I was going to put this cos beads in the middle just to fill that gap. Probably if you got a Czech cabochon, which is a different brand, um, would be fit nice as well. Or maybe just even a pearl would be quite nice just to sit in there. But because we got these cos beads, I think two of these might be sitting nicely in the gap. Let me just grab another needle. I've got two needles to manipulate my little beads there. There we go. And that's it. That's what I needed. And then I've got another two on this side. So I, I'm thinking there's so many different things we could do. Like we could do one, um, a pendant, obviously, where they're sitting just like that. We could have some which is kind of just sitting like that. Actually, that, that looks like upside down. But... Um, Again, we could do so many different patterns with it, depending on what hole and where we are going through with, with some of those beads, it would create a different pattern. I think it would be nice. I like the, it's just like a lily, an upside down lily, if I turn it around, but um, like a water lily, I guess. But if I turn this around and if we do one where they are facing together and I think we can either fit one or two in i think if you fitted one in and it would be four that would be quite geometric and then we could use it in all sorts of different ways all right so let's stand this one up this guy up and then there we go so we could have our starting point could be something like this now when you're working with shape beads it's always really good to plan things out so you can like on like just put things down on your mat and just play with it and just see how once you stitch it together it helps you to visualize as well. Once you stitch it together, what and how are these are gonna be together or where where are they actually gonna end up? But it's actually when you put something like this out, it's it's sort of like a planning um phase. You can identify what you got and where. And then in fact, what you can, what other shapes can you put in the holder? Let me just zoom in a bit more. There we go. Can move this in. Right, um, Elizabeth is saying, has the picture gone blurry for anyone else? It started okay and it changed with me. Let me just have a look on my end. Yes, I am on the fast internet. We've got like three in three different internet connections in here so but i am on the fast one so might be in your own try jumping out and coming back in as lucy suggested i think that would make quite a nice little motif now we could do this as a pendant we could do this as a part of a bracelet because even though like you could have pearls going all the way and around and you just have this as a as one little Thing in the middle but equally you could make all your like you could make a bracelet going around with this all the way so these arcos beads got three holes on them so we got a hole going that way let me zoom in a little bit are we focusing camera yes so you got a hole here you got a hole in the middle and a hole on the outer side so we need to work out a way how we can go through all the holes to find our pendant um together rachel is saying that would look good as a pendant yes i think i'm gonna go and stitch it together <laughs> and we have, hi camille camille is here beth is here amelia is here caroline rachel lucy angela leslie right okay so i'm gonna grab some thread <laughs> for a second at first like what did i do with my tray of thread but it's here i just move it to the other side i tidied up my craft room 
not this week and gone, the weekend before, everything was so nice and tidy and everything had a place. Or might, might, have, been, might have been even been the weekend before that. And um, I don't really want to look around right now. I made a mess already, so I need to spend that thing tomorrow morning. It's going to be my tidy up time. I'm going to have to tidy up again. It always sneaks up on you when you're trying to... Your craft room gets out. I, I don't know. I, I reckon there are some little elves in, in, in the night time where they come down and make the mess in the craft room. How about yours? But I'm sure that's what's happening here. Surely it could, could not be me. So I'm going to start. I'm going to stitch two of those together. I'm going to leave that right in front of me. And in fact, I might try to no I'm not going to try because it's going to come apart I'm going to leave that right in front of me I'm going to get two new ones I'm going to stitch together this half circle beads together I kind of fancy doing these these like when you're stitching them together they kind of like look like coffee beans as well so maybe we could do something something like I don't know some like a different design. Maybe we got like a coffee a coffee bean. I kind of fancy doing a um would have to work out the, the path by there, but I quite fancy doing a um like a dice, like a cube, and have each one of one of each of each side of it. Right, so I'm just gonna go through these. Oh, Richard's saying, I've got shares in Ikea now and I still need more storage. Yeah, you and me both, absolutely. Now I'm going to come back on the other side. Now I think I'm going to go ahead. I usually am not a big fan of knotting my tail end and my working end together. But I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knot my tail end and my working end together because I don't really need... Um, to come backwards and forwards in the middle of loads. So I'm just going to go ahead and knot it and see to give us a nice and firm base. Sometimes it pays to knot it, like sometimes it's not really a great idea because it can go into the hole and then can block you and not letting you to go through it anymore. Right, I'm going to come through the bead again. Come back through and then let's have a look. So we're going to need to add our arc or speeds on. So um, if I just come out right out of that hole and jump to the hole and I'm just going to pick up one of these and go through this bottom hole. So if I lay this on the top, that's where our hole are. We probably, we will be... Like with, I, I reckon we need a seed bead or we would need something to fill that gap because they're going to be a cap when I'm coming out of here of this bead and jumping all the way up there. But on the first round, I'm just going to, I'm not going to add the seed bead in because I kind of like need to stitch in it and see how much gap are we going to have. I mean, a saying, Kitty, I did did tidy and then got acrylic beads out and now in a mess again, trying to make ghost Christmas necklaces with charms. Uh, Lucy saying, I'm sorted my craft from today. Took hours, but I know where everything is again. So it's all good. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Right, I'm going to go through from the outer curve towards the inner and straight from the inner to the outer on another one. Take these down. And then I'm going to come through the other hole on that little... And just leave it there. So there is quite a big of a, big of a thread path there, but we see later on the if we had a seed bead or something in between that we can cover it up and i'm going to repeat this for the other side so i'm going to take two i'm going to go from outer to the inner and then from inner to the outer and then as i'm coming out of this side i'm going to come right back all the way by my tail
and then pull this up nice and tight. I know they're quite open, but when we go and add the bead in the middle, it will all work out. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through all of both of these and then I'm going to pick up an extra unit. So here we definitely going to need because I'm going to be going between those two. I think we definitely going to need a seed bead and let me just grab, I'm just going to grab some out because I think we're going to have to, if you don't add one in now, you're just going to see a big thread path right there. So I reckon it's going to have to be a size 11 seed bead but by, by by looking at it um might need, might need to go down to size 15 but i think it's going to be size 11 so <laughs> the question is what did they do with my seed beads <laughs> they were just here i had some blue seed beads just here right let me just grab them um i've got so much beads around <laughs> the room you never got the right one in front of you what you need so I'm just gonna grab a eh, I think a silver lined one will look nice let's use this one there we go so we just need to pick up one seed bead again I'm gonna repeat going from the outer to in inner to outer another seed bead then I'm going to stitch through the bottom hole on the other side and carry on. So I'm just going to add the other two arcos in that gap. There we go. And I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to repeat. I'm going to pick up a seed bead and two more arcos. Well then, I'm going to have to move this, actually, that's what I need to do, is move this, and there we go, that's, that's, you can see that nicely, so if I do that, then you can still see that as well, there we go, so I'm going to pick up a seed bead, I'm going to pick up another arc course coming from outer to the inner circle, on one of the side holes then going from inner to outer and another seed bead and then just go into this very first one and pull this up so when I'm making any pattern like that I'm just gonna pop it down I think that's looking good so far we're gonna have to do something with the thread paths here because I just think it's a little bit I don't know it just shows too much so we either need to make this first and then this add into the middle later on or we're gonna have to come up with a better shape or something to hold those gaps right now let's carry on and we're gonna have to weave ourselves off to the middle row so I'm gonna go through the next two arcos I always want to say acorns <laughs> they're not acorns they are acorns beads and then as I'm coming out of the bottom hole here I'm just going to go in the middle hole and then I'm going to come back through the middle once, once I'm through the middle I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a minos and come through the other side then here I'm going to have to pick up this beautiful helios bead to sit there again from going from under the wing towards the top of the wing once we get to the top we're going to have to add some seed beads on here this is actually fitting together quite nicely so i'm going to pick up three seed beads and then come back down on the other hole on the helios and into the middle hole of the arcos Uh, if I if I say a name wrong, please do just shout at me. Lucy saying I got too many UFOs. I need to sort it out because it's stressing me out. Oh, Lucy, you know how many UFOs are? And maybe I need you to come around here and sort my UFOs out because I got so many. 
Right, there we go. I like that these minas, because they're like a little bit of a tubular shapes, they, the Arcos is supporting it all the way around, so it can't kind of like turn, it will just stay in there. Need another Helios going from under the wing towards the top. Taking this down, picking up three seed beads, coming back down and into the middle hole. There we go. Just slightly turning it, picking up another minute. I think I definitely want to do something with that middle, but it's looking good. Coming through the next middle. Lucy's saying, love it so well. Um, Brent is saying, put some extra storage containers on Friday as I never have enough. Oh, I know, Brenda. Yeah, I never got enough. I'm thinking I need to turn. I got, um, well, it's the spare room, guest room, whatever room, <laughs> ironing room we got. I'm thinking we need to turn it into more of a storage room. I mean, I can always move this. Somebody comes and stay. I can always move the kids around and have one of their bedrooms people can stay in. So I might as well have a nice storage room. There we go. Hmm, why is it not going down? It's right. Pull it up nice and tight. I quite like those colors together as well. And the next Minos coming through the next middle. And then finally adding the last little Helios. I love how these beads are fit together. Picking up three seed beads. Taking it all the way down. And then coming back down the Helios into the Arcos and the Minus and the Arcos on the other side. Because what I want to do next is I'm going to turn my thread buff around. So as I'm coming out of the middle hole here, I'm going to go to the top, go through both of them. And then as I'm coming out of here, I think I'm going to pick up some seed beads. So let's pick up three. Take them down and see how they are going to sit. Do we need more or do we need less? I think three is just about right. Can you see? I'm going to take this out of the shot now. Because we pretty much got. And let's come in a little bit more. So I just picked up three seed beads. Then I'm going to go through the three on the top of the Helios. I'm going to pick up another three and go through the next top holes on the next Arcos. Pull up nice and nice. So those seed beads just going to be hugging. More beads there. Then I'm picking up another three. Going through this three. Turning it around. By the way, the seed beads um, I think we used last week was from the August pack. I just picked this up off the shelf. So you just any 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 old size 11 seed beads you have at home. Right, I really like this, but the the middle of it, I'm not too keen on the middle. So I'm gonna one sec. I'm gonna go all the way around with the seed beads and just need to, to pour some more out. And we see what else we can add in the middle. Maybe it's another seed bead. Or maybe it's a different shape of bead. Like here. I just I just don't like to see this thread path. These are like a bit too much of a gap for me. So I'm going to pick up one, one, two, three. I'm just going to run around to finish it. One, two, three. Going in here. Now, if I had, if I'm making another one, we could quite simply hook them together with the seed beads in a row if you wanted to, or you could just make one of these for the middle of a bracelet or a pendant, 
or you could make a few for pendant but what I'm saying is in the middle I'm not quite sure that this to cross and do, do excuse my hand I have been painting <laughs> so I got wide bits um, yesterday morning I got up and it was one of those days I decided that um, the hallway the paneling on the hallway needs painting and this was yesterday about 11 a.m. Or, or 10 or, or 10 to 11 actually and by 11 a.m. I was downstairs painting something when you get something in your head you just have to go and do it but I'm quite pleased I did it however I got paint on me everywhere right so if we didn't use these beads what else could we use in here we could use a larger pearl we could use I'm wondering if instead of that seed bead we used one of these sitting that wire would that make it too big that might make it too big so now the fun starts because you can just sit here and I think they're going to be too big and just experiment with all sorts it would look really nice though <laughs> this thing is it going to be too big it's like I want you to fit like let's make it fit because it would look really nice having those there but I think they're going to be too big so it's something slightly smaller from the middle but we could do all sorts of different things if we started out with that perhaps the whole thing would be bigger and maybe we need, we need to add another seed bead let me just take these seeds out because the camera is trying to focus on the seeds as well at the same time um do all sorts of different um patterns I think a samos wouldn't be right because we need something round. How about these? The holes are going up. Well, then how are the holes are going on this corner? Maybe they would work. What do we think? Maybe kind of they could work. Adding them in there. Would some super duos work? Yeah, absolutely. We could put some super duos in the middle. I can go and grab one. But even if you put this one in there, we're still going to have a gap in the middle. Like to fill. You're going you're gonna to have like a little cube. So, what shall we do? Let me take this out. How about these? I think they might be a little bit too fat better than the seed beads they, they might not be too bad you know they might not be too bad because if we had those in and these ones are in the pack as well we could add something else we could maybe add a seed bead in between how we start out these ones, you know, like, um, <laughs> I love these beads, but some of them are really, like, I don't preempt them, um, right? These are the loss beads, or I I yours. Maybe that would look nice as well. Um, gets better with every addition wonder what kitty comes up for the center i think we just need to try a few different things like what fits into those gaps the best like the contrast in the center i love the contrast in the center as well the middle is not quite right yeah absolutely michelle you're right yeah absolutely right shall we try i'm kind of like arming and awning to try these ones or try because if we stitch these together if we started stitch these together but we got time we got all evening so <laughs> it doesn't really matter we could try both shall we try this because even if the pattern's going to come out a bit it might they just might just look nice in the middle so i'm just going to take a bit of thread i'm going to cut i'm just going to cut this off because the middle of not right this one anyway but i am not going to 
and I don't know why did I pick up my paper scissors I am not going to cut this up until we come up with a design because often when I'm designing you leave this there on your mat and it's constantly reminding you that what you've been doing and how did it look and I just really want to have a very quick go of adding this into middle so I think if that's in the middle will we need a seed bead underneath I'm going to add a seed bead in between so I'm just going to pick up one of those I'm going to be I'm picking it up by the fatter hole because obviously we will be pointing it outwards this one I think it's got something in the hole no it's come out and then bind it together and we see what happens so I started with an Amos and I'm going to finish with a seed bead I'm going to go through all four of them and it's one to turn that way but that's not how we're going to have you beads <laughs> so you better turn the right way once we stitch into the other hole this is going to automatically turn itself right let's just go around and go past our tail so we can hold on to it nice and tight there we go hold this up nice and tight right you need to open up and we see it might not even work ah it's too might be too might be too stiff to turn like four is not enough with the one seed bead in between so the gaps are bigger and this one is still to turn so I'm just kind of like opening it up forcing it open, like to the pointy ends to look towards the outer circle yeah definitely need more than one seed bead because can you see like how much of that and if I pull this tight then they're going to turn back in so what we need to do is to add another seed bead on there so instead of one seed bead we're going to have to have two in between right so fatter hole two seed beads <laughs> we will get there but this is the design process what you're watching right now and if you are new to us please say hello and let us know where you're watching from I am in the UK but we have got people usually tuning in from all over the world and it's just a really nice bead community here everybody is so so friendly and we are just like-minded people right so I'm gonna go through again and I'm gonna go all the way around I think this is gonna be the right amount what do we think anybody if you got any pictures or anything you made since last week and I forgot to tell you should tell us at the beginning please send it to me messenger so I can have and just let me know in the chat do you send me a picture so I can go and look at for it and I can bring it into the production and we can show it to everybody I know Brenda is making been making a couple of stuff so I went all the way around and just went through the first couple of bees just to be be away from my tail now let's see if we can turn them this time it's definitely easier still no nah, actually it's, it's just right I thought it was still a little bit tight but actually it's just right for the beads to sit that way so if they are like that then I'm gonna go along until I get to the next Amos and then I'm gonna come back through the thinner hole so right at the tip and I'm gonna go ahead between this tip and this tip we're gonna be adding our 
arc of speed. So I'm going to pick up one from going from outer to inner, then from inner to outer, and go through the next tip. We might need a seed bit between, but I'm just going to pull this up and see how is this going to sit. Um, I think it might be all right, actually. It might be all right. Let me put another two or another three on rather and then we'll see how is it gonna sit I didn't leave myself a very long tail and I like to wrap the tail around my finger Sharon is saying I'm sat making Sharon bracelet or oh, Diane bracelet <laughs> Sharon is saying making Diane bracelet oh god let, let me have a sip of my Camille where are you usually the one who keep me straight Um, Barbara is asking um, if she can send me a pattern to have a look. Absolutely, you can. Um, she can't use a loom. I presume this is a pattern for a loom. I'm not. I'm not going to show it off to everybody because obviously it's, it's your pattern from somebody. But um, you could probably brick stitch it. But if you send it to me, I can. I can let you know what I think or what would be the best cause of action if you wanted to beat it, but you can't use a loom. I haven't done loom beading for a long time and I was going to do a couple of videos on, the, <laughs> on it and then we, we've got some looms in and then, then we sold out of the looms and totally beads so I didn't get to do my loom videos. Right so I'm just adding those in between and I'm just going to go and add the last one in. There we go, and then come through that very last step. I'm going to go through the next unit as well, the very first unit I added. So when I pull this up nice and tight, everything should just kind of fall into place and should have knotted the beginning of it but never mind right let's have a look so the space we have there is that not enough for you hmm. i don't think I, th I think they're too they're gonna be too big but i am um, they're already like puckering a little bit in the middle which might not be a bad thing but Let's have a look. I'm going to come back. I'm going to add the little minos in the middle. And then we see where we stand. Because that's on the sides. Minos. Like sometimes you just need to do one extra. Like it, it doesn't look much. But once you do an extra row it kind of holds it together. I hope that makes sense. Pauline, good evening, lovely. She just managed to get on, so she says good evening, everybody. So we're just playing around with the Arcos, Samos, uh, not Samos, Amos, and the Helios. If you just joined us, and I know what I did here, look, I, did I, did I not? What happened is something twisted because they're not sitting the right way, and you didn't say neither of you said anything. That these two are not sitting the right way. <laughs> oh man, what did I do? I just pop it down. I know there was something wasn't sitting right. Yeah, these two are si they're not sitting the right way. <laughs> Picked them up the wrong way. Actually, that might be a happy accident because we could have. Sometimes this is how things happen. That um, you have you pick a bead the wrong way, and then it got, gets you thinking that we could do something where you have got them going around the same way all the way around. That would look good as well, I think. Um, right, but I'm going to take this back very very quickly. See what happens to everybody. <laughs> I'm just chatting to you. I wasn't looking what I was doing. 
Never mind. It doesn't take two secs. Caroline's saying, I have a loom still sitting in a box. So loom, loom beading is different from what's something twisted because no, it's still not. Those are the ones which are not. So I need to go back to these two. There we go, which was the last one I added on. That's lucky. I didn't have to take too much off. Sarah saying, hi Kitty, I'm new and watching from Ohio. Well, good afternoon in Ohio. What time is in Ohio? Right now, do let us know. It's 20 to 8 in the evening in the UK. So let us know what time is in, is in Ohio. I'm so bad with... Um, But I love, I, I love like how you can travel somewhere and actually go back in the day <laughs> than um, how you can, how time is different. Good evening, Isla. She says, sorry, my lady, you haven't really missed much. Lovely. We're just getting started and just playing with some of these beautiful particle bits. So out to in in to out and then we should have the right they should be sitting the right way and I'm just gonna pull this through and I'm gonna pop it down and have a look before I go any further right so that's kind of like white there we go I think so right I'm gonna come through the next bit so this this is we made this one just the, um, that one already and we're just trying to add trying to start the middle differently because I'm not kind of liking that all the gaps and bits of pieces in the middle but sometimes it's the case that you go along and you change all, change all these things and then <laughs> you come to the end and you go back to your original idea because that was that was the best right Adding the Helios in, coming through the middle. I'm just slightly going to turn it. And as I'm adding these in, it's kind of like I can feel it in my hand. That it's um, like the, the, it's flattening out, it's coming together. But I do think those Amos in the middle might be too big. So I'm picking up a Helios from under the wing towards the top and three seed beads. Oops. I'm um, currently seeing actually is much quicker to do once you set it up. That is the loom. It's quite quick to do things on loom. I've started a butterfly, a big, big butterfly on the loom many, many, many years ago, probably about 15 years ago, and I got put into the cupboard and I haven't even got the beads anymore. <laughs> what did it with it? So I had to take it off. That was my last loom project. I had to take it off and I got this half a butterfly. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but one day I do something with it. Maybe I do it in a certain way that the butterfly will be behind the flower or, or I come up with something. Right, next one. Just picking up the Helios from under the wing and the three seed beads. Sarah is saying it's 2.45 in the afternoon in Ohio. I'm just going to pull this up. I can already feel it that the middle is going to be too big for this one, but I'm going to go around and finish it and then we can put the two side by side and we can evaluate it. What else can we add into the middle? There is other shapes there or it's kind of like a well, then Helios I need from under the wing to the top and three seed beads. We're going to have to either pull it out a little bit. I'm just going to go through this too. To get to the other side of that unit, pull it up nice and tight. So the middle, as you can see, it's too big. 
because it doesn't really want to sit the way how we wanted it to sit. And if I take the seed beads out, then these still not going to close on themselves because the, even if I'm pushing it down, the room is just not enough for them. So we need to come up with something else. We said we tried these ones. So I'm just going to go back. Let me just leave that there for a sec. This is just too, too big. So we need to reduce the middle. Let's try these ones. So if I just do, I need a seed bit in between or I just need these ones. So let me just pop this on. So if I use these loss in the middle, because then that would give us our four points. I'm just going to go ahead and stitch them together without seed bead. And then we see how we go. If you need to adjust it afterwards or not. Because even if you use this one, the cost, even if you added a seed bead in, I'm not sure how would we centralize it with these guys. We can centralize it better. Right, I'm going to put this. Good evening, every. I'm going to put, put this onto the side. So this, this we know. This doesn't work, but I'm still not cutting it up. I'm just going to pop it to the side so I can keep on looking at it. And sometimes the ideas come later to it. So we're going to start with these ones. So different beginning. And anytime when I design a pendant, a bracelet or any pattern, this is really what happens. You just sit there and play and you just make up little sections of it. Two, three, four inches max. And then you go, go backwards and forwards and just try out what would work the best. Now with this one, the, I love these because like these are kind of like the check bricks, but these one's more of an oval shape. So I just think they're a little bit more pretty. I'm going to go through all four of them to form a nice circle. And I'm going to come through the first two to work away from my tail. I am not going to knot it together because I can come back later on. And in fact, I can um, either tighten it up or I can, if I need to, if I don't tie my tail and am I working that together right now, we can loosen this loop up a little bit if we need to be able to pull it out. Right, as I'm coming out of this hole right here, I'm gonna come back through the same bead but through the other hole and I'm turning direction and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start picking up my acorn. So I'm going to pick up one from going out towards the inner side, then from the inner side going out and go through the next outer hole on my next there we go and then i'm going through the next one uh, from going from outer to inner i almost picked the other wrong guy inner to out going through the next one this is actually sitting there quite nicely already sometimes if a pattern is going to go right sometimes you got like a right feeling about it from right at the beginning maybe this will be the one from outer to the inner inner to out and then keep going around Oh, <laughs> I picked it up the wrong way. Oh, what's wrong with me tonight? I am a little bit tired today because I have to, have to confess, I had, um, we went for a walk with a friend and um, we usually, <laughs> she walks so fast. She does like this brisk walk, brisk walk. And we walked all the way to Walton, which is from us probably about, I don't know, about five miles there and five miles back. So we did that in the afternoon and I just went through the wrong hole. Um, I got back about four o'clock and I sat down and I didn't really want to get up. And then I had to get up and do dinner and all sorts of things. And see, like, because it's kind of like wants to be pulled out a little bit, I can wiggle my thumb into the little circle in the middle and make that bigger. Or in fact, I can pull on the tail and make it smaller so we will self adjust the middle and then see what else we need to add into it so outer to inner inner to outer 
through the last little loss pull this up nice and tight going through the next unit and then I'm gonna come back on myself so I came through that hole I'm gonna come through the middle come through this pick up a minus go to the other side and then I'm gonna pick up my Helios I quite like it <laughs> just grab some helios i'm gonna pick up a helios three seed beads take this down that pattern just uh, remembered me of notes and crosses which you're saying yeah it that kind of does look like going down from up to down on the other helios and the middle hole on the arcos as i'm going back around another minos Next one, and I'm going to repeat it three more times. Helios from under the wing, going towards the top of the wing, and three seed beads, taking it down, and coming from the top down on the other hole, and into the middle. And then Minos. Helios, three seed beads. I think I want it to do. I have got some um, <laughs> some we we bought some metal straws. I think I need to put a metal straw in my drink. So every single time when I fancy, I just need to put it here with the straw. So every single time when I fancy a little um a sip, I don't need to put my bead rub down. That would be so cool <laughs> so let's put my bead rub down that looks quite nice i think we do need a seed bead in between in the middle or something there to cover up can you see those thread paths but i think this is fitting together i'm not going to jinx it let's just let's just put the last unit the last little helios on there and have a look so one two three seed beads Coming back into the middle, all the way to the other side of this unit. And then we're going to turn our thread around by coming through. I'm just turning the whole thing around, going through the top hole. Then picking up three seed beads. Going into these guys here. Even the beadwork is jumping around today. I don't know what's going on. Another three seed beads. And going through the top holes on there. I'm just going to add these seed beads in here. So as I'm going around, I'm just picking up three seed beads. Just to connect that last hole up as well. One, two, three there we go another three there we go and coming into the last unit so what we're going to add in the middle do you think a size 11 will be too big start 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 thinking on a little bit there because i really like this one so i think i'm going to go ahead and we just need to we just need to do something with that middle and i think it will be perfect right i went all the way around i i i really love how those little loss um beads are fitting in there so now we just i just want to cover the thread path up there i'm not sure if I had another minos, can I sew another minos in the middle somehow? No, I think that will push it apart. No, 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 it goes in there, look. So that went in there. That would look cool in the middle. And then I think one seed bead just to fill that gap. 
What do we think? What do we think? Seed bead? Would it mean us fit in? I don't think. Well, it might sit a bit wonky, but then, then the beads, the outer beads will push it in. Let's have a look. That would look really cool as well. Oops. I'm pinging them all over the room. So let's just see. Will you fit in? Right, if I push that one in there, and I push one in here. Right, it is quite... But then, I don't think we have room to add another two in just under here. So that could be our pattern, just having those two and then adding one in the middle. That would that could look that would look good. Because now there isn't like enough space to add one in here. Or we don't add these here. We can still have the one in the middle. But come out. Come out, come out. We add a seed bead in there. So I need you to let me know in the chat right now. Seed bead going around in between there. Or we're going to go with the three minnows. So seed bead for equal sides. Or are we going with the three minnows? Let me know in the chat which one would be better. Lucy is saying better with seed beads and the little bead in the middle. Uh, I think seed beads, Rachel is saying. Leslie is saying looks like... This looks like a winner. I think it looks really good as well. Um, seed beads in between. Right, okay, so I'm just going to pop this to the side. Have I got enough thread? Now, I do a new thread because I need a bit, want a bit longer tail so I can hold on to it. And just very quickly, I'm going to pick up with seed beads in between and we're going to see how that going to turn out. Kim is saying Minos, Sharon is saying three Minos, Beth is saying seed bead would, uh, would look a bit better. So I'm just going to leave that there just because I think that like I forced it in there, but I know that's like kind of like going to work. So let's do one with seed beads in between and then we're going to see how the two is going to compare to each other. And anything when you're designing something, like, unfortunately, there isn't any better way to do this. Just try it. Just sit down and play with the beads. It's like, um, like Christopher, my son, sits down and just plays with the Lego and just makes up, like, whatever comes into his little mind. Right, so we need four of these to start with. We need a few more seed beads. We're going to do the pattern one more time. So one of that, seed beads, one of this, one seed, one of this, seed, this one, and I'm finishing with the seed. Not two, there's two jumped on my needle, just need one. So I'm going to go through all of them, and then the first two to work away from my tail. Again, I'm not going to knot my tail end and my working end together, so we can... If we need to, we can pull on that. But before I... So we can pull on the, the... We'll be able to pull on the tail itself. But before I will go up and add my arc or speeds, I'm going to add the minus in the middle. So I'm all the way around and just went through the first bead. I'm just going to go into here and what I'm going to do I'm going to pick up a minnow speed as, an, as I'm coming out of this hole at the top let's pop this out of the way this hole at the top I'm going to come on the other side and go into this loss from bottom to top and when I pull this up it's just kind of this going to add this into the middle but before I pull it really really tight I'm going to go through the middle bead again, the minus again. And then 
was pulling I don't want to pull it too tight so you can see what's going on I'm going to come back to the one which I started out of so I have made like a figure of eight thread path in the middle here and then when I pull this up nice and tight if we just hold our minus beads from two side so hopefully this will just sit there nicely in the middle now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go to the next seed bead and and come back through the free hole and we're going to start adding our arcos in and we see what happens so add our thinner inner hole to the outer curve this one just reminds me like a crescent moon there we go pulling up nice and tight and then going for the next one and i'm going to add them all the way around but each time i'm going from outer to the inner hole inner to the or inner inner circle to the outer circle if you have got a better way to describe them do let me know and pulling this up nice and tight so if you're just new to these sessions please say hello we are live from every Sunday and we're just kind of designing something together and doing all sorts of different things. At the moment, we are going to a whole lot of, I picked up the wrong way again, a whole lot of Arcos beads, not Arcos, Parpuka beads. And today we're working with the Arcos beads. I need a sip of my Coke. I think that's looking lovely so far. Going through the next hole. I'm pulling this. I I I don't know. I didn't pick up the second one wrong. I picked up the first one wrong. I don't know what this is. What's going on? I think it's the long walk. Like this is shows you that I I shouldn't I shouldn't be in that walking is not good for me. I shouldn't be going walking. I need the walk so outer to inner then from inner to out there we go so that should be right this time there we go and it's right oh, I don't know what's going on Lindsay is here say hi I just got here for good evening Lindsay right outer to inner inner to out going through the next one and we're going to go through the very first unit as well so we will be able to turn our thread around and come into the middle hole now the great thing about this arco speeds that they are got um, three holes in them so we can bind the pattern together in three different points I'm just making sure I'm pulling it nice and tight well let's get to the other side of this guy here and then I'm gonna come back through the middle hole I'm gonna pick up a minus go through the next one then I'm gonna start picking up my helios beads from under the wing towards the top and three seed beads and taking it this right down and coming down and through that middle hole next middle hole pulling this up nice and tight then I'm gonna go through the next minus speed and the middle hole I'm pick up a minus speed and going to the middle hole back to pick up a helios and three seed bead that's looking, that's my favorite so far, I think. That's looking quite nice. And those. Picking up a Minos, going to the next middle hole, closing that. Circle in one Helios, three seed beads. We're almost all the way around. 
Annie is saying, I really love this one. It's going together so well. I admire your pers <laughs> perseverance, Kitty. But that that's it. Like, for me, I guess, as a designer or, or you know, this is... You know, I mentioned Christopher and his Lego. And he plays there and sits down and just plays with the Lego. And, like, he could sit there all afternoon and just putting different blocks together, taking it apart and putting it together. So... This is, for me, like adult Lego, <laughs> because you can just sit there and really play with the beads and put different combinations together. Sometimes you just need to tweak, tweak it. Sometimes you need to just go down in a size of seed bead or go up and it's going to look great. And I really, really love it. I really love doing this. I'm going to come through this whole first unit there. Pull this up nice and tight. Something is not right about this needle. There we go. And I am going to pull it nice and tight. Now I'm going to go back into the small hole just here, like right to the top, and I'm going to pick up my seed beads. Well, we don't have to add the seed beads in between those gaps, but, but uh, we need to do add something. So we're sewing these beads together right at the top as well. So some, 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 something we have to do. <laughs> we have to do something. And just think, could you leave a gap? Where would you like me to leave the gap? Do let me know, Angela, what are you thinking? Pulling that through. Coming through these three. Oh, I'm really pleased with this one. I think sometimes things just kind of like go together for the first thing and like you need to tweak it a little bit, but it's just so pleasing to the eye to see a nice pattern go together. Right, coming through these last coming through the last section now and just do let me know what you mean about the gap need more information has anybody sent me any pictures so far please do let me know if you sent me a picture so i can show you off to everybody what have you been doing um last week Read our uh, with this beautiful pack. If you have made anything up, right? Adding the last three seed bead. There we go. So, what do we think? I'm gonna pull on the middle a little bit to just tighten that, and that middle turned. This is not sitting the way. I want this to sit. I want it to sit that way. Just pulling on this middle, tightening it up a little bit. Maybe if we could knot the the first row together, then um, it would be nice, nice and solid. So it, it definitely you could knot it together before you start. I think that looks quite nice. Bring it up. Now, what, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to turn it into a pendant? Are we going to make maybe two or three of them? And we could add them together. We could sew them together. I'm not sure, like, how. Well, you could you could actually turn them. You, you could sew them together in all sorts of different ways. But I think we always have to start at in the middle. like that or we could they could share those three seed beads in the middle on the one one of the top of the helios they could do that as well oh say hi kitty take a course closer look it looks like an owl's face well if you had two eyes I guess absolutely. <laughs> Maybe you can fold it up. No, you can't fold. You can't fold it up. It's quite um, tight. 
Lucy's saying looks great. I love it. So shall we leave this like this and experiment with something else? Or shall we make another unit? Or how are we going to add it together? Do let me know. What would you like me to do next? We still got another hour to go. We could just experiment, like putting different beads down on the mat and just see how they go together and do all sorts of different little experiments. If I did four of these together, they would make a really nice little unit as well. And we could have like a large unit and then we could have a smaller unit i think that would look quite good as well let me just get one for the other side and with these ones you would just sew them together i think without seed beads or anything like coming up and down obviously you would have the three seed beads on the outside of it i think that would look good as well what do you think of this they have a couple of smaller units in between. I think that would look good as well. What is the finished dimension? Let me just get my ruler. So this one, um, side to side is just over an inch or it is just under three centimeters. Corner to corner, it's just over three centimeters or corner to corner it is an inch and I re never really know how to say that, <laughs> like a, a, a one to four, four sixteenth of an inch or is, is it right or no? Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> you tell me ladies, I'm rubbish with inches. Ruth is saying, oh yes. Um, it looks like the pattern on a maxi skirt I have. Oh, Lindsay, you have to send me a picture. Um, I haven't got any maxi skirts, so I don't know really. I don't know what they look like. Is maxi skirts mini? Um, um, is maxi skirts or long skirts? What are maxi skirts? Actually, do let us know, Lindsay. You intrigued me. All right. So I think that would look quite good as well. So you could, you could, you could build on this and do all sorts of different things. Now, I am intrigued. So shall we do Mina Singh look nice? I do, I do really like it. And I think like if you did it as a um, necklace, you could still have like this in the middle, but I'm just going to turn this and have those two on either side and just go up with it. So you kind of like have this one in the middle. So I think that would look quite good. I am going just going to come back to the main and just going to switch this camera off and on again. Because <laughs> that's the only way I know how to fix it. Oh, look, I'm not wearing any earrings today. And then we're going to go back down and see if it's going to focus better. Zooming in. Sometimes it just kind of like, it's like restarting. It needs it. There we go. So it might be better now with the focusing. Just pull this up a little bit. So I think that looks kind of sweet as well. But you could have it in all sorts of different angles. It's really a sub to you. Sometimes like I like to do shapes with at least six sides, not fours. But I think this one looks great. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and... What shall we have a little play with? Shall we keep playing with these beads or shall we play with something else? Is there, what is your favorite purple copy? Do let me know in the comments. And then, or oh, length of, length of the skirt is the grand. So it's a long, mac, uh, yeah, maxi, <laughs> maxi, maximum length of boots. Oh, I need, I need a sip of my, I'm not really with it tonight, am I? Would the Amos squares either side of the pendant look better on a diagonal to add a little more shape? Yep, yeah, you could do that as well. So you could have this this way. And you could have these like a little bit diagonal like that hooking into there as well. You could do all sorts of different things. Like what, however you want to 
I mean, it's saying maxi or ankle length dress. Oh, Brenda just sent me a picture. Thank you, Brenda. She's been playing. So let me just move this out and I'm going to show it to you all. Are you going to add it? Are you going to add it? Well done, it's thinking about... Brenda Singh just made this while watching Amos beads with seed beads and two time three millimeter crystals. That looks really, really nice together as well. Um, that is from the Earth Pack. So you could make that you could make this as a pendant and you could go along and make you could even add the minus beads in the middle or all sorts of different shapes for the breast as well. But that looks really beautiful as well. Arcos beads. Yes, did I say something different? <laughs> you know me. Lindsay's saying, it's okay, it's Sunday night. Yeah, absolutely. But if I'm like this Sunday night, this is, doesn't really give me much hope for Monday morning, does it? So <laughs> I, know, I know we'll need a, a good, old, good old sleep tonight. That's a really, really beautiful Brenda. Something like that. And I'm just going to bring you back for one sec. What's the great thing about is that with this one, again, you can run up and down. So you can run down in the middle, then run up on one side, then run down on the other side, and you just go backwards and forwards building your brace. That's a really nice and easy one to do. Anybody else, if you be making anything, just do send me a picture so I can show it off to everybody in the chat. Right, okay, so um, let's have a look. What's your favorite part puka bead? So we got all sorts of different ones here. I really do want to do something with these cost beads because I think they are really nice to have to sew together in some way to form. I don't know. They, they. I just really like the look of them. We could either have them in a, but then we could add beads between as well. We could add a seed bead in between to stagger them out. We could have a pattern like that, where they are going all the way down on the bracelet and they are staggered a little bit. That would look good as well. But I like to put them together like that. That would make like a nice little ribbon bracelet. Like a zigzag, add them in a, a zigzag pattern. You can't see it. So let me just move this up. And there we go. So we could play around with those. You could play around with the cowps as well. They're quite cool. They got their little triangles. They got two holes in them. With this one, I wonder if we could add it together in a way to form. But then what can we add in the middle? If we're going to do that, you need to, add, I think, add something in the middle. So there would. Maybe not, not quite. Like, I think I need a gem duo. Which is or Samos. Let's have a look at the Samos. There we go. Mm, still, still not the Samos is not squarey enough. Right. Let me just see. Alison is sending me a picture, but I might need you to resend it, Alison, again, please. Oh no, it's coming down. Oh, look. Hopefully that will show up on the computer now. Let me just click on here and show it to so she just been Alison has just been playing on her map, adding like different beats together from the pack. And look how well these fit together as well the arcos kind of like do fit together with the tel telos quite nicely so we could do something with that as well so there's so many different um there's so many different things you can do 
Leslie's saying, Sharon, did you share a photo of your bracelet? Love to see it. Um, Sharon is saying, you could combine Kitty's Brenda's together as a bracelet. Absolutely. Or yes, you could add my one in the middle and Brenda's pattern all the way down to the end. Angela is saying, I was thinking of the sides of the middle, but if you need to join them, you need to add something. Yeah, absolutely. So we could do all sorts of different things, but I think this one needs something in the middle. But it's because you got all different shapes, like you could make them fit together in all sorts of different ways. Like that's how Brand um, Alison just had it, and adding this in, that would look quite cool as well. But then equally, we could make all sorts of different patterns and adding them together into a necklace. We could drape it down. You could go backwards and forwards, do all sorts of different things. Um, we did. There, there is the possibilities are really, really endless to add them all together. You know, we could make a little um, necklace and have maybe the arcos bead drooping down and having a minus bead in between you could have two or, or you could have this this as a unit in a necklace going along let me just get rid of this going along like that and we would just have to work out to add seed beads or glass beads or glass pearls or something in between so we have the right gaps so we could have a little play with the necklace as well. We, with the necklace, you kind of like want a curved um, part. So this is a pretty bow. You could have it upside down if you wanted to. Turn it around. You could have a samus bead at the bottom of it as well if you wanted to. That would look quite cool as well. And then maybe add a seed beads at the bottom. There's so many different things we could do. Sharon is saying she just sent a picture as well. Let me just have a look for it. Um, is it coming? Well, I'm going to look in. Message request. No, I haven't got anything from you, lovely. So you, uh, can you try to resend it, or did you send it to Kitty Robinson Designs? Because then I need to, I need to pop onto the Facebook page. Rather done. In the personal one. Right, okay, so what we're doing, ladies, do let me know. Let me know in the comments what would you like to do. Are we making a bracelet, necklace? What would you like to do? Let me just have a look for this message. There we go. No, there is nothing there either. So can you please resend the message so I can have a look. Right. So what we're doing. Bracelet, please, Leslie's saying. Um, okay, so if you want to do bracelets, I quite like to add I think they would look quite nice. They would be quite easy just adding. Actually, does that fit in there? Ooh, maybe, maybe. I might need to change this color a little bit so you can see it better. This Helios fits in. So if the Helios fits in just there, and then we could add this to this side. 
and then we could add another Helios on the other side. That would look pretty as well, I think. And then because of the holes, that, oh, um, I need to get different colors of these so they show up better each other. Because of the holes, how the rules are going, we will be able to right angle with it. So we'll make a unit, come up into the next one, and then we're adding the next one. I think that would look really good. Let me just grab what I'm going to do. Let me just have a look. What color are those lost beads in the other other pack oh it's kind of they're kind of like green so they're not going to be while well, we use these I think they just need to be slightly different colors to as you go down and then have that one as the same color in the middle I think and that's always just about there. I think that would work quite nicely. This one is this one is from the I love putting navy and golds together anyway. I think that would look nice. What's the gold one of these? Where are you? Where are you? Are they more like green? Um we could add, the, add its own color with it, or we could add the blue with it. What do you think? Or shall I go on <laughs> rampage the cupboard? I think the blue with the blue, because they're the same color, they're not going to show up as well. I think this would look really pretty. And then all those beads would be on the side of it. But quite equally, the other thing what we could use is the Stamos beads. So... Let's pop this to the side. So if you had those blues, we could use the Samos to sit there. Oops, just move up a little bit. That would look good as well. I think that fits together better because it's a little bit fatter. But perhaps with a seed bead in between, we could get away with the Samos beads as well. What do we think? Now the choice is yours. Do we want Helios? And obviously there will be seed beads loop on the side. Helios with these two. Or do we want Helios with the Samos beads? And we're probably going to have to put a seed bead in between. So it just, just sits right. Which one do we think? Send it to Kitty Designs. I'll go and have another look. Do, do, do. Um. Where are, where are, where are my manage messages? Right, inbox. Well, I sometimes this. Oh, Sharon, there we go, I think. Sometimes <laughs> this just baffles me. Because, like, by the time you get used to one thing, like, Facebook changes it to something completely different. Right, I can't see... I can see that you, um, you've been trying to send me a message, but I can't see the message itself. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Some are start away. Good thinking, Glue. We could have the some this way. That would look good as well. And then they could sit that way. So if we had the Samos that way because of the holes, how they go in the Samos and in these, we would have to run up and down. If we have the Samos this way, 
we will have a gap in the middle. So it's how much are we do we want a gap? And then let me just pull this up. You're going to have to add a seed bead in between because otherwise I don't think it's wide enough. So you're going to have to add something. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'd be all right. But definitely want to kind of like close in on itself. So we could do it this way as well. Just add another one here. This is seed bead in between. That would look cool too. Hi, do you? I can't, can you, Sharon, can you send a picture over again so we can have, um, so I can have a look because at the moment, oh, actually, I'll tell you what I do. I open it in Chrome. Open it in Chrome and then we see if, if I can see it in there because sometimes it's Safari. Um, it doesn't, um, so the picture I got from a you is the, Sharon is doing the beautiful Diane bracelet. So I'm just going to bring this in. So this was a kit we did last week. Um, it's just using seed beads and crystals. And this is what she's working on last night. And it's named after Diane, Diane Moore, who's in the community, because we did this stitch in Bead Club, oh gosh, like almost a year ago. And she really taken it to the next level. And she was so kind enough to make up all the samples. And I really cannot thank um, Diana for not afraid. She's, she's such a lovely lady. So we turned her kind of a combined, well, our combined idea, I guess, uh, into a little kit. And I just really, I really love this one. It made such a lovely, beautiful, um, like a web, like a web of beads. Right. Okay. So what we're doing, definitely bracelet. Elos and Arcos. Um, I know what you mean, like putting these together with this. Like that, so hold them apart a little bit, and then we're gonna have to add something else. We could even add a minus or something in between and do them that way. We have just used these beads to make you can't see it. <laughs> Let me just move it down. There we go. So we have just used these beads independent, so that that would look cool as well. So that's my thought. We try something different as well. So we could try this. I think we need, we will need a, if you had a seed bead in between, if you add more than one seed bead in between, ooh, maybe. Okay, I've got an idea, but I'm going to be adding seed bead in between because I think like to kind of fill the gap, three, three going up, one, yeah, okay. So I think if you framed, if you can leave the summer speed that way, it's no problem. But I think we need to, if we just run up and down, that then would be an easier. I just think, let's try it. That's all we can do. Let's try it because the more we just sit here and think, we're not trying it. <laughs> it's definitely not going to work if we don't try it. So let's just try it. Right, I'm just going to grab another needle and with the bracelets, what I usually do, I just make a little run of two or three inches just so we can like try out like how would it look like. So I'm um, just very quickly, I'm going to run up on one side and pick up these beads and run down on the other side and see how is it going to fit together. So I'm going to start with the Samos and then let's get these babies out of the way and I'm going to go out from the wing from underneath to the top of the wing. Then I'm going to pick up three seed beads. I'm going to come back and I'm going to have to pick up my next Samos. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this down to the mat and I'm just going to 
bring my next summer speed in because with our Helios, it's both sides of it is flat, but with the summers, you got one side is domed and the other side is flat. So I just want to make sure I'm picking it up the right way. And then I'm going to go ahead and just going to pick the next Helios up from under the wing and three seed beads. Take these down, and I'm actually going to move some of these beads out of the way because I think I just got too many in the background now. There we go. And then I'm going to come back through the other free hall, picking up the next Samos, pulling this tight. I'm going to add a few. It's, it's going to flip flap for now, but once we add the other side in, it's definitely going to stay, stay nice and straight. So picking up the next Helios from under the wing going up, three seed beads, taking it down and coming back through the free hole. just like that and then picking up the next summer now i think you need to make sure that you kind of like pull it up together nice so it's nice and tight together picking up another summers another helios seed bead one two three taking it down coming through this free hole then i'm gonna go and pick up the next samos and i think i'm gonna do one more this samos one more helios and i'm gonna turn around one two three now if you obviously made a bracelet it would be a longer length it would be a longer length much much longer length just pop this down so now we're gonna jump from this side to the other side so I just want to see what do I need to add in between so it will hold my shape actually turn around in a summers so I'm gonna pick up another summers <laughs> take it all the way down come back to that summers Make sure it's nice and tight. So normally we would have the clasp on the end and I'm picking up my next videos from under the wing going out, three seed beads. Coming back through from the top down and I'm gonna need to go through the next summer speed. And when I pull this up nice and tight, this should just sit in there into our pattern I went to the wrong summer speeds that's not the, that's not the next one that's the one after that and back up there we go reverse stitching reverse stitching I need to make a noise up for it like you know when your truck is reversing there we go I do you think they no, let's go. Let's keep going and we see by the time we get down to the end, how's it going to look? If it's going to be tight enough, it's going to be loose enough. What do we need to add around it? So pulling this one down and then I'm going to go through a free hole on the next Samos. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Come back. Reversing. Need to go for need to go through the other hole on the helios first. Pull this up nice and tight and then go to the summer speeds. Come on, ladies, you need to keep me straight. There we go. I think there's like if I pull this up, can you see how's it puckering? So I do think there is um it's either need to be adding a seed beads in between or something to keep them a bit further apart. I wonder I 
you also have these but I don't think they would be the right shape even if you add two together would they no because you still would have a gap same as with the summer speeds right okay so let's just go down to the end I think we're gonna need a seed bead in between but we will uh, try it there we go and coming to the next one I think it was Lou was it you were saying then we could try the summer speeds the other way as well I didn't come through that top what again <laughs> Oh boy, what's going on tonight? I think that walk. I shouldn't go for a long walk. I I do love walking, but I think like I love walking on a not so like sort of a slower pace, I think, because then it doesn't tire me out so much. And I think when I have to walk fast, See, it's puckering. As I'm pulling this tight, this is puckering. So it's not going to, it's not going to play nice. But once we put, it, once I go up, I'm not going to pull it tight. We just need to come back and add some more seed beads in between, so it keeps it like straightish. There we go. One, two, three. We come through the other hole four triangles in the middle yeah maybe that could work let me just go down to the end this one I'm just gonna pick up one more go go ahead and straight pick up one more unit and then we will see how is it sitting and i always keep these little snippets what we make because then you can refer back to it later on you can just have a look at it and see why it didn't work or what was it work or what else you could add or use or make differently right coming through this last one pulling this up so it is puckering if i flatten it right out if we add a seed bead in between the Samos and the Helios beads, I think that will solve that problem. So it could be a nice little pretty pattern. I'm going to pop this to the side and I want to see, like, if we had the Samos bead the other way. And then, actually, let's just have a look at this first. If we add these together. So I, the triangles, I think it's going to be too big. Because adding four of these in is going to be too big. I just got another idea with that. that if you add the little units the other way with the Samos, have we had it first? Let me just pop this to the side. So if we add the Samos beads back this way, so because they are the, the holes are that way, so they're further apart, that perhaps adding a seed bead in between. And then we could have three little seed beads on there. Yeah, so I just got this idea with this. Let me just get another piece of thread. So if we turn the summer speed back the other way, because first, first we had it this way, and I think Lou suggested it to turn it that way. So if you turn the, that summer speed back this way, then I think we can sew them as little units. And I got a little idea what we can do. So, I'm just going to thread another needle. <laughs> Until the end of the night, I'm going to have like 50 needles threaded. Hmm. Nothing finished, but 50 needles threaded, hey ho. <laughs> I 
Um, as you're saying, she thinks it looks nice and pretty once the spacing is corrected. Absolutely. But that's that's all we're doing. We're just playing with the beads, we're adding things together, and we see see what sticks. It's like to throwing something at the wall and, and see what sticks. Yeah, I'm going to pick up my Samos. I'm going to pick up three seed beads, come back on the other side. Pull this up. Gonna pick up another three seed beads. Come back on my stuff again. And in fact, might I'm gonna run around just this first unit one more time. So we got a nice I don't wanna knot my tail and then my end together because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but um I want a nice solid base. I'm gonna go around it all of those beads one more time and I be want to be coming out of the first seed bead there and I'm gonna go and pick up the Helios, I'm gonna pick up three seed beads just like that, go down just push that way into the Helios gonna pick up one summer speed but well, one seed bead then I'm gonna pick up one summer speed I'm gonna pick up another seed bead helios three seed beads I'm just sort of kind of like competing the next part of the pattern I'm just gonna pop it down like that we're gonna go back through this one sec let me just pull this down for you. So we're going to go back through this Helios into that seed bead and the Samos. I'm probably going to have to run around. So we're going to go, it's going to go into, go through these two. Pull this up nice and tight so we can have, let's have a look, my thread is twisted. So we have our first little unit and from here I'm going to go and follow my thread path around until I get to the other side of this Samos. So I'm going there, through the Helios. Probably they will be an easier way to run down and up, adding one side and then coming back and adding the other side afterwards. Once, if the pattern works. So there is always, and oh, I want to come out of the seed bead as well. There is always ways you can find how to make easier. I'm going to pick up two seed beads, come back through the Samos. I'm going to pick up another two seed beads, come back to the seed bead. Do we need to actually, would it be, it's going to look a little bit wonky, but if we just pick up one seed bead, that might be all right. Let, let's do this unit like this. And on the next one, I think if I just pick up one seed bead at a time, then that might make it a little easier. So I'm going to come through the seed beads again because I want to get to the other side. Just and and another thing as well, like you know, we might find four millimeter crystals or three millimeter pearls or something else might still works within the pattern. I'm going to go through the seed bead. And I'm going to pick up my next Helios. That could work. Three seed beads for the top. What do we think of this one? And then coming down. I'm going to pick up the seed bead. And the summer speed and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another Helios 
and another three seed beads. Take this all the way down. Oh, we missed the seed bead there. Sometimes it's <laughs> it's paced like pay a little attention because even I like miss beads. Miss some out sometimes. There we go. Very quickly just added that seed bead on there. Coming back on the other side of the Helios into the seed bead and the Samos seed bead on the other side. So I'm going to pull up my second little unit here. There we go. I think that that could look effective as well, but if we need to play around with different seed beads, like different colors or adding something different to it, what do we think? Shall we add one more unit? Let me see how we go. It's gonna come up through the Helios, through the seed beads, then the other side of the Helios, through the Samo seed bead, Samos seed bead. Or shall we, oh, okay, on this unit, I'm gonna leave the seed bead just there. I'm just gonna pick up one seed bead and actually, we could pick up two to push it apart a bit. Picking up two seed beads <laughs> coming through the hole on the other side. And then we're going to pick up another two seed beads coming back. Just to have that little decoration there. Just going around. Then we could just pick up one seed bead and the Helios and go to the top. What do we think of that? I like it, but what about the gap in the middle in between the two Helios? You mean Helios? Blue. do let me know or maybe you are further back <laughs> you might be starting to watch it for the beginning as you come in late right there we go I think that will look nice and then somehow we can go oh yes we can go through those seed beads to straighten them up later on so coming through here One seed bead going through the summer speed, another seed bead, Helios. Just take these down. Picking up three seeds, coming back through the Helios. Picking up one seed through the Samos, the previous one. As I pull it up tight, we got our next unit. I think there is mileage in this pattern. We just need to tweak it that it looks nicer. So instead of perhaps the two seed beads, we might need a pearl or something to kind of like catch die, or maybe a crystal bead would be nice, like a three millimeter crystal, crystal beads. Yes, I mean, the row in the middle is like a gap, but could be nice. Yeah, there is a gap, but sometimes it's nice to, like, if I put this on the top of my hand, top of my painting hand, so do do, do ignore. I, I, have, I have been scrubbing myself, and uh, because it's a spirit-based paint, it didn't really, it didn't really want to come off. <laughs> so it, it's not too gappy, I think. But then we could add something else in between. We could always we could always tweak it the one by another. If I just added we haven't tried it without the seed beads, but if I just added the helios 
I just dry vid these ones. I'm going to grab another thread. This some so. I'm just going to grab one from the gold pack because I only got like four Helios left um, from this pack because we've been using it for since the last week. Thread. Just grab another thread and just very quickly I just want to try something. So if I don't use seed beads, what happens then? Because then we haven't tried that one. Well, we tried it on the other one. It was peckering the other way, but we haven't tried it. Burn the sink. I think that's a good idea for a brace set with a bit of thickening. Absolutely, leave it as I think. Let me just try one more thing. So I'm just gonna grab a few beads. This is from the Earth Bank, and I am. I'm not gonna pick up any seed beads. Well, I might pick up seed beads on the side. So. What seed beads are in here? And it's my size 11s. Oh, they will be a little bit of a shocking thing, but it, they will be fine. They will be just fine. So, if you just went up the Samos. Oh no. Wrong needle. And I just threaded the needle. Went up the Samos. Picked up my helios i'm gonna pick up three seed beads i know they are really pink but just to prove our theory the how far they're gonna sit i just want the seed beads on the top because you're gonna see the thread path on the top no matter what so you do need something for that then i'm gonna pick up another samos another helios i love these this color of helios um and in one bag you get all sorts of different rainbow finishes on it and each bead can be slightly different right going down on that and just pop it down onto the mat so i want them to sit that way so coming up oh, and i picked up <laughs> blue on the other side yeah, I'm really like I'm I'm just like I don't even know my colours anymore. So see if if you have if you haven't got any seed beads in between, but this actually kind of like proves it so we don't need really to go any longer. If you haven't got any seed beads in between, can you see the middle of the helios is touching? So one is bent above the other one, just sitting just like that. So if I turn it sideways, can you kind of see it from the summer's bead? So definitely you need a seed bead or you need something in between those units. Whatever, we just want to add one seed bead in between. We could even do like a little size 15 and add nothing in the Samos. We could do that as well. That would probably look quite good as well. Let me just grab. I'm just going to try this quickly because I haven't got enough feet out on my mat here. <laughs> So I'm just going to leave this on, I'm going to go further up, go through my Samos speed, and then I'm going to pick up, I'm still going to do size 11 on the outer side I think, so I just only need a few size 15s, just to see if the size 15 it might be just the right gap because the size 11s in the one we just did they do kind of like stand out a bit more so let's see if the size 15 is going to be the right size gap so I'm just going to add one unit on top of here. I'm picking up pinks again, so this time I'm not picking up the wrong color. Taking this down, coming back through that hole. Seed bead and through the Samos. So this is, look, size 15s, just adding si one size 15 in between it. I like that. I think proportionally, that looks great. Like I'm going to add the size 
11 one in there can you see that pulls you apart like this is what Lou was saying that they are set like apart a little bit let me pull this up so there is mileage in this I think and then now I would weave it around just going through the any thread path I have created we're not going to have to go through like we're not going to come back through the 15s anymore when if you even if you run a run around on the outer edge of the bracelet so you can go through them a couple of times no problem even with su the thicker super long thread and size 10 needles so i want to go through the samples and then i either have got the option to pick up two seed beads and three three seed beads size 15 because that's what we're using in the middle pull this up pick up another three go back so if i don't you don't have to pick up these seed beads and i could just sort of jump but then the thread would show on one side I just want to have a quick look if we added the 15s there then have to come to the first three again through the samos and I'm ready to add another unit maybe the three is too many it might pucker Two might be enough so one seed going through pick up a helios three outer seeds i'm going to pull this down and then going back through that helios pick up one seed bead pick up one summers one seed bead another helios three outer beads take this all the way down come back through the other side of this helios pick up a seed bead and then through that samos so i am i got my next little unit on just like that I kind of like the seed beads in there. Let me just get, hold on. Let me just pull these seed beads out and these beads as well so the camera can focus better. But I kind of like, I like them like that. But I think two seed beads, three seed beads is too much. Two seed beads when we all go in between. So you just have got like a little, a little, it's not not too gappy so I quite like that so we we're doing the same in the middle well we did previously excuse me but we're doing it with size 15s and it looks much nicer and neater but i probably could have the size 15s on the outside as well or add a crystal or a pearl or or something else but that um we could all work out um Lou's saying both packs are lovely tempted to get both yeah there's 15 different colors in the pack so very quickly i know <laughs> maybe i should have showed it to you earlier let me just pop over to the website and i can actually show you this um totallybeads.co.uk you know you, you know the drill <laughs> um i go through when i when i do the lives so totally beads as well like we, we go to the website so much. So I'm very quickly just going to show you here or Dan. So totallybeads.co.uk. Um, you're going to go into categories and there is a category called creation station, which is which is bot linked to, to me. September, October pack. And I know it's a lot of money, but we're going to be using it for the next five weeks left i think six weeks i don't know the le the le next lot of sundays all throughout um september and october so they're gonna be a lot of um 
a lot of a lot of creating with that one and we're just going to go through and use all sorts of different shapes so do check that one out on the website right okay so i think that's going to be me for my day as nine o'clock need to go and get ready and uh, get my beauty sleep for sunday um i am pleased really pleased with this i think it needs tweaking but it definitely has got miles in it to turn it into a nice a nice pattern excuse me um and then i definitely like this as well but again i think we need with this one we perhaps all we need and i'm just going to pull this apart a tiny bit all we need a crystal or something bead before we go through so i need i'll i'll, I'll have a little play with that one i love 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 this one how does this little pendant turn out i think i'm going to turn this into a pendant no it's not this one the last one we did is here there we go i really do love this one i think this even they, they probably would be on the larger side but you could turn them into earrings as well if you wanted to but they would definitely be in the larger side but definitely good for pendant so we'll be back next week on sunday and i don't know what beads are going to be playing with next sunday but between now and then please if you do any anything just take a picture and just send it to me so i can we can i can show it off to everybody and um, we can design even more and play even more together but anytime when i design a new kit or do anything this is the process i'm going through i'm just sitting down putting things out on my mat just playing with it and see where it where it goes Oh, Lucy saying, loving God, the creation stations. No, it's been fab. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for turning up and, and watching me. It really means a lot to me. Really enjoy your creative process. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Um, that's um, really nice. Um, thank you for the kind um, words. I really enjoy it too. I, I love this. This is the thing what I love the most. Just sitting down and creating all sorts of different bits of pieces and just I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see. I'm going to want to pull these in as well. So this is what I enjoy the most as well. Just sitting down and just playing. Just really just playing with the beads and coming up with all sorts of different things. And sometimes like two non-related beads just having to like fold down on your mat in a certain way which can give you an idea. Christine is saying it was lovely but thank you so much Christine to being here great as always thank you um Brenda Sue saying thanks for all the ideas oh you're very welcome but we haven't really come up with anything solid but this is not really like you know this session's all about just playing and designing together and and seeing what would work and what wouldn't work sort of kind of like putting uh the enjoyment back into beading and just and just experimenting just like all sorts of experimentations here right my lovelies have a beautiful um bead nears night creative bead nears i love that sharon um everybody have a beautiful week um and totally beads i'll be back on wednesday and what am i doing on wednesday i don't know i haven't got my diary in front of me but i know what we're doing in the beat club this week and i did put the little uh <laughs> what did i do with it well, there we go so if you are interested in the beat club this week we are learning how to make these little crystal crosses so that's beadclub.co.uk you can check that one out as well it's a class we do through zoom um a little beading class we do through zoom and we do it every thursday night at 7 p.m uk time or friday noon friday afternoon um again uk time so we're going to be making this lovely little cross and then we from the cross for the week after we're going to progress on to making a, a crystal heart a little bit of crystal heart um hit the like button everyone yeah that would really help um and appreciate it that you could hit the like button um it really helps the channel out and Lucy was saying don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss um kitty's lives um i'm excited the courses and hearts this is saying um, I, I really love them too right my lovelies everybody have a beautiful evening or afternoon wherever in the world you are 
and I will see you here same time next Sunday. Have a very good week.